What happens when you take a Trujicon RMR and the SRO and they make a baby? You get the RMR HD. This is literally a combination of the all the attributes of the SRO that are very lovely and the rigidity and the durability and the trustworthiness of the RMR that so many of you guys have come to appreciate. And what you have is this boxy looking SRO. So just like the SRO, it has a top loaded battery. So now you don't have to remove the optic every time, um, you know, it, the battery dies every six months or so. Um, that's about how long I get on an RMR on my carry gun. When I actually leave the dot at a brightness that allows me to see it in most conditions, every six to eight months, I have to switch the battery. And that's probably where this is going to be as well. But now I can get in there and I could swap the battery without removing the optic and forcing me to re-zero uh, the weapon. The window is also uh, about 30% larger than the RMR. It is still not as large as the SRO. It's not circular. It doesn't like come up a little bit taller, uh, but the window is noticeably uh, larger than shooting a, a you know an RMR type optic or the RMR itself. And then the other thing that Trichicon is definitely talking about quite a bit is the forward facing sensor that is going to pick up the light in the room or the light in the environment. And that will then adjust the brightness of your dot based on what you are aiming your weapon at. Now, just for, just for you guys to understand, the other RMRs and optics have an auto uh, mode, the RMR and the SRO, where you hit both buttons together and then it will auto adjust. But that is pulling light information generally from above the optic and around the optic, which if I'm in a dark space shooting into, you know, if I'm indoors shooting out into a parking lot and it's, you know, sunny out or something, um, I'm not gonna have a good dot brightness based on what's being adjusted to allow me to engage. And vice versa, if I'm outside shooting into a dark structure, well, my dot's gonna be super Super bright, it's going to bloom, and then I'm not going to be able to shoot very accurately. But the SRO, which is pulling uh, the light information properly, is actually pulling from the front, and that will adjust the optic uh, properly. However, I don't necessarily like auto adjusting dots. I prefer adjusting that myself and just having a little bit more control. So uh, that is something for you guys to play with if that's what you want to do. Another thing the RMR HD has is two reticle options. You can do the giant bullseye reticle like the MRO HD and like so many other pistol optics out there like the hollow suns and other optics out there, or you could just do a standard one dot. Uh, in my opinion, I think a lot of people are going to, who want to try the large bullseye, are going to do it for about two or three weeks, and then they're going to see that it actually kind of sucks, and they're going to go to the single dot, which is preferable. Um, as a training wheels uh, situation, having the circle might be kind of nice to help you like find the optic when you're presenting. Uh, but again, I think most people are going to get away from that because it's kind of, in my opinion, it's kind of useless. I'll never shoot with a bullseye reticle on a pistol optic. Um, it's just not necessary. And even on a rifle, it's not always necessary either. Um, but on a pistol, it just, get, it just gets really annoying based on how much of the image it's taking up uh, when you are dropping this onto a target to engage. Uh, what's in the box is pretty simple. I already have the optic already removed. There are all sorts of instruction manuals like you would normally get, but what is vital, you do not want to throw this away, is the guide. It's uh, very similar to like cheat codes on like an old uh, console, you know, left, right, right, left, up, down, down, left, right. Uh, it's very similar to that, but basically this is going to give you uh, the instructions for how to set all the different modes of this optic, how to change reticle, um, that you can also turn off uh, the buttons basically like if you lean up on tables and stuff, you know, where it's going to dim the optic, uh, you could turn some of that off. You can lock in certain brightness modes. So they've added a lot of features to this optic that the RMR and the SRO don't have. Uh, but because of that, they have to have a little cheat sheet because there are only two buttons on this optic. There's not a settings button. There's not, you know, a little game pad. It's just a plus and a minus, And you've got to hit that in a certain sequence to tell you uh, what's going on. So definitely hang on to this, this is super important. Um, but once you get your optics set up, if you're just doing single dot and you're not running auto and you're not locking it in and you're just running both buttons to brighten it and dim it, uh, it's gonna operate just like an SRO or an RMR and then you don't really have to worry about this. I will say they also added a, a super bright mode. Uh, there's like an extra brightness setting that goes up a little bit higher than the RMR and the SRO. Uh, that is cool, although in most situations that is gonna be extremely uh, bright and too bright, it's gonna bloom. Uh, I don't think it's entirely necessary, um, but that is something that they've been talking about. And so it's like, hey, well, they added a thing that maybe some of you like. Maybe some of you like shooting with a 20 MOA size dot on a target. Um, I don't. I prefer to actually shoot my dots a little bit dimmer, but for some of you guys, uh, you might like that. Um, one thing to take into note is this is the snoot of the HD is a little bit longer than an SRO. 
on most handguns, on the MOS, on the, in this case I have a Zev Duty slide, it is not a problem. It is butting right up to the ejection port. And the thing you need to watch for right here is uh, carbon buildup. Uh, so this is just what I, the carbon buildup I have on this optic right here, I have not cleaned it yet, is from shooting around 400 rounds yesterday uh, with this optic. If you do not clean the carbon right away, it does sort of bake on there and become a little bit more permanent. So that is one thing to take into consideration with this optic versus like the RMR. Um, it is sitting further forward, so there's a little bit more maintenance you are probably going to want to do. And, um, and that's something that, you know, you're just going to have to build a habit of doing. Another thing they added, and I think this is, um, for anyone who shoots regularly, this is useless. They added this little aiming indexing point on the top of the uh, optic. Uh, the idea here is if you're not running backup irons um, or you can't see them for some reason because the optic is obstructed, uh, you can use this little indexing point to kind of know what center of the gun if you have to shoot. Um, but the reality is if you're a good shooter um, or you're just you know shooting at all, you're not going to be using that at all. Um, it also potentially adds some rigidity and some uh, just durability to the optic. I think that's cool, but I would not necessarily argue that as a selling point to you guys. Most of you watching this video, here at T-Rex Arms, probably train, you're not gonna look at that or use it ever. Um, and if you're good enough and at shooting in general and you're point shooting at close distances, you don't really need an aiming reference, you can shoot just fine. So uh, that's more or less the RMR HD in a nutshell. I really like this optic. Um, I'm actually now kind of like, well shoot, I was gonna carry an SRO on my carry gun. I kind of like this guy right here. So now I need to reevaluate a little bit, uh, but at the end of the day, both optics are solid. Both optics are really good. I'm still shooting an SRO on this pistol right here. Uh, it's my main training gun. Um, this optic did not hold me back yesterday, which was the main thing I was uh, checking out. Um, it is tinted blue, the same as the RMR. Some of you all are gonna probably ask about that. The SRO is a little bit clearer uh, of, a, of the window tint specifically, but the blue tint of this optic, because the window is a little larger, is less noticeable, especially when you're actually focused on shooting and hitting targets and doing things. So I really don't think you need to worry too much about that. And that's how Trijicon gets really good battery life because they're able to project that LED red dot on that pane of glass and because it's blue there's contrast stuff going on that allows them to suck more battery life or have more battery life so that is just one thing it didn't slow me down shooting this optic and so that's why i'm kind of like well maybe i want that for my carry gun instead of the sro so but that's pretty cool the trench gun now has a a nice little optic that's an in-between from the sro and the rmr and i'm really happy that we're able to support this optic and i'm really glad that trigicon is making this if you have any other questions about the trigicon RMR HD and its compatibility with slides on the market or just other questions about this uh, particular product, go ahead and email us at team at trex-arms.com.